hi welcome to my next video this one's about the nervous system uh, how it's organized and controlled so our nervous system provides um, or enables us to coordinate a response to a change in our environment and a nervous response is one that's very very quick so if there is an immediate change in the environment it means that you can react to that quickly um, that therefore promotes survival and hence why we have it so in order for us to pick up a change in the environment we need a set of cells or um, an organ which can actually detect that change and those types of cells or those organs are called receptors you're all probably aware of them that your eyes your ears your nose the pressure sensors in the skin and they detect changes in the environment um, a change in the environment is also known as a stimulus and that can be something like light and sound so if there's a change in the light therefore that's picked up by your eyes which is the receptor the major parts of the nervous system can be divided into two major sections. The central nervous system is the first and the peripheral nervous system is the second. The central nervous system is comprises of the brain and the spinal cord and the peripheral nervous system is all of the other nerves which are not the spinal cord or the brain. Um, one thing to say about the brain is it is effectively a collection of neurons as well um, and along with the spinal cord that comprises your central nervous system. The diagram that we have here shows the structure of a nerve cell. Sometimes nerve cells are referred to as neurons and they have several different organelles. Organelles just basically means parts. The first part that we'll look at is called a dendrite and a dendrite is a connection um, to other nerve cells in the central nervous system. Also at the top here you have this bit labelled here which is a nucleus which um, contains all the genetic information within the cell. Two other organelles um, that you might need to know about are the myelin sheath. The myelin sheath acts as an insulator so it stops other nerve cells from being stimulated and it does a secondary function, it also speeds up um, the rate of the impulse travelling down the nerve cell. The axon is the physical bit that actually carries the electrical impulse from one end of the cell to the other. You also have a section here labelled which is the synaptic terminal and all the synapses is a gap between neurons. Okay, to summarise some of the bits that we've gone through today, um, nervous responses are fast acting, so they provide very, very quick responses to changes in the environment. Receptors, those are things that detect stimulus, and a stimulus or a stimuli is a change in the environment. Your central nervous system, which is your brain and your spinal cord, and your peripheral nervous system, which are all of the other surrounding nerves. Um, if you join in next time, I'll go into some more detail into the types of or the different types of nerves that we have in the system and things like the reflex arc. Mm -hmm.